Hi all, welcome to myclass.com. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about JDBC, Java Database Connectivity. So what is JDBC? JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity, which is a standard Java API for database independent connectivity between the Java programming language and a wide range of database. If we want to connect our Java program to any database in our system, then only we want this JDBC. JDBC. JDBC means Java Database Connectivity. It is an API that is application program interface that help our Java program to communicate with the database. See, like this, this is working. This is a custom code and we are writing JDBC related statements also inside our Java program. So, all this Java program is communicate with database only because of the help of JDBC. Okay, so the JDBC library includes, so in the JDBC, we are adding JDBC libraries in our Java program. So that the JDBC library includes for APIs for each of the tasks mentioned below. This task are the mainly we are using JDBC libraries for. So these tasks are like making a connection to a database, creating SQL or MySQL statements. We are making statement and with the help of statement, we are writing the queries and we are executing that queries. Executing SQL or MySQL queries in the database, then viewing and modifying the resulting records. These all are the tasks that we want JDBC libraries. These are the main tasks that writing with the help of JDBC libraries in our Java program and that is helping to the connection to our database. Okay, so the JDBC is mainly the JDBC application programs that we can write in different Java executable files like Java applications. We can write in Java applets, we can write in Java servlet, and also in Java server pages and also we can include java api in our enterprise java beans also this is our jdbc architecture in jdbc architecture mainly these components are the first this is our java application so in the java application we are also writing a jdbc application program interface code also to communicate with the database so this is the jdbc driver manager the third component is jdbc driver manager that is help manage the jdbc drivers in our in any database my sql oracle and any other like sql or any other database each database have to contain the jdbc driver inside it so this jdbc driver manages the jdbc driver of each databases and our jdbc app api so that the the connection between the api and the jdbc jdbc driver is established by using jdbc driver manager so these are the four major components jdbc api jdbc test suite jdbc driver manager and jdbc odbc MOOC bridge drive so what is jdbc api jdbc api provides various interfaces and methods to establish easy connection with different databases this api is responsible for inside this api we are writing the instructions for connection statements query execution and also for stopping the connection like that then jdbc test suite is also there for it is for jdbc test suite facilitates the programmer to test the various operations such as deletion updation insertion we can do any query like deletion updation insertion also so we can test this executed query by using jdbc test suite that is also executed by the JDBC drivers. Then next is JDBC driver manager. This driver manager loads the database specific driver into an application in order to establish the connection with the database. If we want to, if we want to establish a connection with M MySQL database, this JDBC driver manager is responsible to load the specific database that is the JDBC or maybe ODBC driver into our JDBC API. The JDBC driver manager is also used to make the database specific call to the database in order to do processing of user request. Okay. 
so each request is are managed by the jdpc driver manager so jdpc driver manager is responsible for the database connection query execution and all other working that is doing with the help of jdbc driver of each any databases next is jdbc odbc bridge driver in all the database may be odbc drivers are there but is odbc open database connectivity open database connectivity means it is language independent this database connectivity is used to connect communicate with the database with any other languages okay but jdbc is a java specific database connectivity so jdbc odbc bridge drivers are used to connect the database driver to the database the bridge does the translation of the jdbc method call into odbc method call okay if the mysql contains this odbc driver let's assume that odbc driver is the but in jdbc api we are using jdbc method call to connect with the database so there should be a bridges needed to translate translate our jdbc method call to our odbc method call so this is managed by the jdbc odbc bridge drivers it it makes the usage of sun.jdbc.odbc package there is a sun.jdbc.odbc package we can connect that packages then only we can communicate with the odbc characteristics so this is the jdb difference between the jdbc and odbc let's assume that if a client application is in the language java a jdbc driver is enough then jdbc driver for java jdbc driver is must so jdbc driver is communicate with the odbc driver all the database if any odbc driver is suitable for any type of database so if my sql contains odbc driver this jdbc driver is communicate with the odbc driver with the help of our jdbc odbc bridge driver okay the working of a client application in java if there is a client application in in other languages odbc driver is enough so with the help of odbc driver this client application can easily communicate with the any databases in our system so the points are the points that fundamentally differentiate jdbc and the odbc is that jdbc is language dependent it is only for our java it is java specific whereas the odbc is a language independent then the jdbc odbc bridges allows applications written in java programming language to use the jdbc api with the many existing odbc drivers so jdbc odbc bridges there to communicate our jdbc api to our odbc drivers okay the bridge is itself a driver so that is we are calling jdbc odbc bridge driver based on jdbc technology that is defined in the class sun okay we all know that open database connectivity is a product of microsoft interface is a c programming language it is a interface and it is a c programming language interface that make it possible for applications to access data from a variety of database management system it is a language independent so odbc is communicate with any client languages any client language not java odbc is enough to communicate with databases like this our java program is working there is a java application we are using jdbc api for writing jdbc connections writing the writing related to database connection so there is a jdbc odbc bridge driver this bridge driver is translate our jdbc method call to odbc method call so this odbc method method is easily communicate with odbc driver then odbc driver is facilitate the connection between the databases with our java application so that is a working of jdbc odbc bridge driver so this is a small program java program to connect to a data mysql database and also to execute a query, query. so there is lots of packages we are uh, we are importing import java.sql.connection import java.sql.driver manager import java.sql.sql exceptions import java.sql statement then in public class in the void main method we are establishing a connection connection con equal to driver manager get connection this is the location of the mysql local host in our this is the location and this is the url for our particular database akila and this is the username and this is the password
then we are creating the statement statement stmt equal to connection dot create statement and making a string with the particular query any query we can write like this and you can execute like stmt dot execute s okay so it can easily execute it and it will update a row it will insert a new row into our table act we can see in later with the eclipse id okay then we are just printing execute so this is a very simple program to establish a connection with the mysql and execute a mysql query let's check this program with our eclipse id this is our program in this program so you can do this insert query by using this program so after executing this program it is successful then when we are checking the actor table in our mysql database that entry should be here okay 569 should be here so by using jdbc driver we can connect easily to our mysql databases you can do it with notepad and with the command prompt also but in my system there is a class path error is showing i don't know how it it should be resolved i'm trying for that thank you any doubt you can ask through comments